folks so in this video let's say you bought a used laptop a refurb laptop off of uh, eBay and it shit out on you and so you are concerned about somebody getting your data and when I say that you're uh, preparing to send it back uh, to get your money back because maybe they won't replace it or maybe uh, they're not going to fix it whatever the reason is so in my case got what was going to be an awesome deal on a 12th gen i7 touch screen laptop the only thing that sucked about it is that it didn't have um, which we call it uh, 16 gigs or more of RAM it only has eight. Uh, and the other thing that really sucked about it was, hey, I didn't even get to enjoy this thing one bit. <laughs> Went through the hassle setting it up. Um, then I was preparing to add a drive to it, and next thing I know, it just dies. Um, could I have shorted something out? Not knowing that I shorted it out, quite possible. The only thing I previously opened up was uh, this M.2 compartment here. I don't even know if I need to. I'm going to assume this needs to pop out. Um, so, this is a goofy little compartment um, so what we're doing folks is we're taking all the screws out we're gonna get the drive out and another title for this video was really a teardown of this gateway model so if I don't know if it even exists that somebody's done this on YouTube it probably is somebody that has done this But yeah, uh, basically the reason I'm retrieving the disk, or the SSD, uh, is to wipe the info off of it. Uh, I don't know exactly what they would have access to. Alright, so we've gotten all the screws out. Four, six... 9, 11 screws total. And uh, now we just gotta pop this thing off. Um, so I usually try to use a guitar pick. Uh, you could probably use a butter knife. There are other devices out there that one could use. This little gizmo might work as well. The question is finding a spot that's going to allow you to get underneath it to pop it. Um, that's where the fun's at, folks. So I would assume somebody's probably already opened this. Um, let me find something else. This isn't really working. And you guys couldn't even see what I was doing anyway, so... Um, all I'm doing over in this area is just scratching the heck out of it. Okay, so we were able to get the guitar pick under. We got one, one click of mini. <laughs> and as I was saying about this, um, that most likely this has been opened previously because it was refurbed so hopefully we won't break this thing that would be uh, not such a good thing and hopefully there's no other screws that we're missing um, Something like this might have another screw under it. Having a 
lot more difficulty with this than the two previous times I opened this thing up. It almost feels like something, like there's another screw in here somewhere. All right, so once you get under there, folks, uh, using something like a butter knife, something a little more rigid to pop these other sections would be the way to go. Um, this little flat head that I'm using, probably not the best thing in the world. even though it is working ever so slightly. Um, so we're just going to work our way all the way around. And now, at some point folks, hopefully, you'll be able to um, get a good grip on this thing and pop them completely off. But Taking your time, be gentle, be as gentle as you can be. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Um, and then the worst thing that could happen, folks, is this thing just pops back into place. <laughs> I don't know what we're stuck on. There are definitely no screws left. That is definitely caught on something. And what that is, I do not know. <laughs> So we've got this side over here that uh, we just can't seem to do anything with. And we have to be careful. But this is the spot that we're having our problem right now. So if we can get these to pop. It should come off. But as of right now, it doesn't want to pop off. So I'm going to keep working this, folks. Uh, eventually it will come. Alright. Alright, folks. So, um... The uh, screws that are causing problem are underneath this thing. So there's at least one in there and probably a second one over on this end. And good luck getting these things back on after the fact. So you have to remove this strip. Now, um, there may be two more. Nope. Okay. So there were two screws in here. One on this end and one on that end. All right. Now, here's our laptop. Um, and you can see... what it looks like. So there is a uh, Western Digital Drive in here 
And so we need to take that out of here. I did not see where that screw went. Now I'm kind of curious since we've screwed with this thing. The issue with this laptop is something related to the power button um, or the touch screen has completely failed. But there you go, folks. We've gotten the drive out. Um, I'd say it was a matter of brute force. But luckily, we'll be able to get our um, get those screws back in, put this back together like it looked previously. It is a solid shame that this thing um, doesn't work. So, um, you don't hear a fan come on, nothing, which is a total shame. Now, here's your battery under here. I am curious what was wrong with this thing. But there you go folks. Um, took it apart. 